I saw one other question come in uh, while I was talking. Miss Johansson. Miss Johansson. Hi, so just along the same basis of the partnership within the um, facilities, I'm an FRSA with D88. I do not support the unit where I sit, like the building that I sit at. And I'm, now don't get me wrong, the building is amazing. I used to work with the unit, they're great. But we're finding a huge disconnect in being able to get just general support for like supplies. The 88 doesn't have funding, but then the unit, the building that we work at, they're, you know, I don't belong to them. So they're having a hard time justifying supplies um, on that aspect. And there's just, and that's just kind of like the tip of the iceberg where some of these issues are coming into play for those of us that aren't, you know, mill tech or TPUs. We're, the, we're on the civilian side and we're wanting to support the soldiers, but we don't have what we need in order to do that. So, so one, so that's a takeaway for us to look, to look into. Uh, so uh, I think Mr. McNeese is on the call. If you'll take that one as sort of a do out uh, to loop out, loop back about what may or may not, uh, you know, systemically, uh, how do we actually know? Because we are, we're really, dis we're a lot more dispersed as a headquarters uh, than, than you might think, frankly. Uh, I think that's a good, that's a great way of putting it, is that we are really uh, geographically uh, dispersed. Uh, and so, Ms. Johansson, thanks for bringing that up. We'll look, in, we'll look into it about if you're missing something. And it looks like someone's sharing. Thank you. Yeah, someone's sharing their. So, our major, you're sharing your, uh, or Mr. McNeese, you're sharing your. Uh, somebody was sharing their uh, email. <laughs> Couldn't tell if it was Mr. McNeese or the Sergeant Major. Uh, it was. It was the Sergeant Major. Oops. Oops. Okay. Glad there was nothing there that said boss is crazy. That would have, I would might have noticed that. <laughs> uh, hey, so I'm in the last uh, four minutes here. Do we have any, do we have a final question before I uh, kind of wrap up? Okay, I'm not seeing hands go up. So let me, so let me tell you what I actually get. So I get a lot more out of this than, than, uh, you may think, okay, so I heard from some people, Ms. Johansson, I heard from someone that I don't hear from normally. And so that's the importance of, that's one of the importance of doing town halls. When I go around and visit uh, facilities, like I'll be out in Montana next week for a few days. So when I go to facilities, I always, if it's at a AMSA or ECS, I always try to huddle the people up and do something like this, sometimes not with this much time. Uh, but try to huddle up people and let them ask questions. And again, I usually learn more from them than, they, than they're probably gonna learn from me. I always try to meet with our RPAC personnel for the same reason. I wanna, I wanna hear what they're seeing from their foxholes. And I, and I almost always meet our, the FOSS and that, and certainly always meet the AFOS that current covers a facility. And so those are great touch points for me. Uh, the, the, bigger th the bigger thing is, is I, I always learn different things about how to think about something. So, you know, Colonel Wagner asked, a, asked actually a hard question and so my response showed you know, hey, I'm, I'm thinking through this, because I am thinking through it. Uh, and so talking about it helps you hone your thinking. Uh, Mr. Shumway brought up, hey, there's a better way to communicate uh, about this relationship and partner, a partner relationship sounds closer uh, than just trying to meet a customer's need, but we're actually in a partnership 
that means we provide some things and the, and the supported unit provides some things. So I have learned some things today. Uh, we will, we're going to get a schedule out for these. We'll probably have some where I may not be on them where the SART Major hosts the town hall or Mr. McNeese holds, hosts the town hall or one of the DCGs hosts the town hall. Uh, but we're going to do more of these. We'll do them at different on different days. Uh, what, what we'll probably try to lock into is a week when you can expect that there will be a town hall during the month. Uh, and then uh, we'll probably move it around at times of day uh, once we settle on a day. But if we move around to different times of day, it may make it easier for someone to participate that may be out on the west coast or someone in the eastern time zone uh, or you know, families that may want to participate in the evening. Uh, we'll shoot for that. We'll try to always have a focus area. This one was on the branding piece, but we'll also have a focus area for it. But I just want to say for those that are on the call, thank you for joining in. The questions actually were really, really good and made me think. Uh, and that is always a very, very good thing. So I'm going to sign off and I'm going to get it right today. Enabling readiness.